show you how to jailbreak your iPod Touch 4G, 3G, iPhone 4, 3GS, and iPad 1 running on version 4.3.3 using Ponage Tool. Now this is useful because it preserves your baseband so it keeps your baseband the same. So if you want to unlock on the next version that will work. If you want to know more about unlocking we'll be making a video soon and we'll have an annotation you can click on that to uh, unlock your iPhone on 4.3.3. Anyways, what you're going to need is these two files. Where you can find these files, we have a post in the description of this video right under there that leads to our site with text instructions. In the beginning, there's downloads. You can go to those two and download these files. Proponent Tool, version 4.3.3, and then your device, which is version 4, your device firmware. I'm using an iPod Touch 4th generation of uh, 4.3.3. Now you start by opening up Proponent Tool and take a little time to load and you can connect your device up now to the computer and hit open if you downloaded it there we go now you can say ok and click this expert mode I like it it's just a little nicer because you have more control of the situation now we're using iPod touch um, as shown select your device if you're using an iPhone click the iPhone iPod click the iPod iPad Apple TV click that so we're just clicking the iPod Touch and then the next arrow. Now it says browse for IPSW. You're going to be finding the firmware file that you downloaded previously, the second file I showed you that wasn't Ponage Tool. So just hit browse for IPSW. It lags a little bit and it will give you a selection screen. There we go. Um, this is the file right here. So you just hit open and it will um, load that file and accept it in like 10 seconds. There we go, it took more like a minute but it's done. Now you can do all these extra settings. I'm just going to be doing the build which is basically all you need to jailbreak. So just hit build and then the next arrow. Now it's going to tell you where you want to save your thing. I'll be saving it in jailbreaking. Now it'll say custom restore. So make sure you have something to identify this new one that it's building and then you can hit save. Now the step it's doing is building a file. Basically what it's doing is patching your IPSW file and turning it into a jailbroken one in which you can restore to in iTunes. Now this process takes a while and could take up to like a half an hour on a really slow computer. I know this is going to take a while so I'll cut to when it's done and when it's finished you'll have to quickly push some buttons on your iPod. Also note that you may have something pop up asking for your password. You have to type that in so the program can work. I'll be back when, when this is done and I'll see you guys then. Hey guys, what's up? Right after Ponage Tool uh, is done making the file, it will prompt you to connect your device and then put it into DFU mode. So we'll be doing that right now, just as my iPod Touch boots up. So you're supposed to press both buttons. and then release the top button and when it gets to there it should process and now it says you're successfully into DFU mode and what you're going to do now is simply open iTunes and restore with the file it made. Once you do that you'll be completely jailbroken and I'll be showing you how to do that right now now in this screen you're going to hold down the alt button while you're clicking restore which will open up this menu and you're going to select the custom restore that I made and hit choose and now simply iTunes will be uh, restoring your device like it would any other normal one but when it's done restoring you'll have Cydia so this is the tutorial if you liked it, if it worked hit the like button down in the corner and subscribe to us up on top for more and I'll see you guys later